In fluid mechanics, Helmholtz minimum dissipation theorem named after Hermann von Helmholtz who published it in 1868 states that the steady Stokes flow motion of an incompressible fluid has the smallest rate of dissipation than any other incompressible motion with the same velocity on the boundary. The theorem also has been studied by Diederik Kortweg in 1883 and by Lord Rayleigh in 1913. Mathematical proof Let U P display style math BF U P and E equals one two U plus U T Display style e equals frac one two nabla math bf u plus nabla math bf u caret t. Be the velocity, pressure, and strain rate tensor of the Stokes flow and u p. Display style math bf u p and e equals one two u plus U T display style e equals frac one two nabla math bf u plus nabla math bf u caret t. Be the velocity, pressure, and strain rate tensor of any other incompressible motion with U equals U display style math bf u equals math b f u on the boundary. Let U I display style U underscore I and E I J display style E underscore I J be the representation of velocity and strain tensor in index notation, where the index runs from one to three. Consider the following integral: E I J minus E I J E I J D V equals U I minus U I X J E I J D V. Display style begin aligned int E underscore I J E underscore I J E underscore I J D V and equals int frac partial U underscore I U underscore I partial X underscore J E underscore I J D V end aligned, where in the above integral only symmetrical part of the deformation tensor remains remains, because the contraction of symmetrical and antisymmetrical tensor is identically zero. Integration by parts gives E I J minus E I J E I J D V equals U I minus U I E I J N J D A minus one two U I minus U I two U I D V Display style int e underscore i j e underscore i j e underscore i j d v equals int u underscore i u underscore i e underscore i j n underscore j da frac one two int u underscore i u underscore i nabla caret two u underscore i d v. The first integral is zero because velocity at the boundaries of the two fields are equal. Now for the second integral, since u I display style u underscore i satisfies the Stokes flow equation, i.e. mu two u i equals p display style mu nabla caret two u underscore i equals nabla p. We can write e i j minus E I J E I J D V equals minus one two 
mu u i minus u i p x i d v display style int e underscore i j e underscore i j e underscore i j d v equals frac one two mu int u underscore i u underscore i frac partial p partial x underscore i d v Again, doing an integration by parts gives e i j minus e i j e i j d v equals minus one two mu p u i minus u i n i d a plus 1 2 mu p u i minus u i x i d v Display style int e underscore i j e underscore i j e underscore i j d v equals frac one two mu int p u underscore i u underscore i n underscore i dot plus frac one two mu int p frac partial u underscore i u underscore i partial x underscore i d v. The first integral is zero because velocities are equal, and the second integral is zero because the flow is incompressible, i.e., u equals u equals zero. Display style nabla c d o t math b f u equals nabla c d o t math b f u equals zero. Therefore, we have the identity which says e i J minus E I J E I J D V equals zero. Display style int E underscore I J E underscore I J E underscore I J D V equals zero. The total rate of viscous dissipation energy over the whole volume of the field u display style math bf u is given by d equals phi d v equals 2 mu e i j e i j d v equals 2 mu e i j e i j plus e i j e i j minus e i j e i j d v Display style d equals int phi d v equals two mu int e underscore i j e underscore i j d v equals two mu int e underscore i j e underscore i j plus e underscore i j e underscore i j e underscore i j e underscore i j d v. And after a rearrangement using above identity, we get d equals two mu e i j e i j plus e i j minus e i j e i j minus e i j d v 
Display style D equals two mu int E underscore I J E underscore I J plus E underscore I J E underscore I J E underscore I J E underscore I J D V if D display style D is the total rate of viscous dissipation energy over the whole volume of the field U display style math BF U then we have D equals D plus two mu E I J minus E I J E I J minus E I J D V Display style D equals D plus two mu int E underscore I J E underscore I J E underscore I J E underscore I J D V. The second integral is non negative and zero only if E I J equals E I J Display style E underscore I J equals E underscore I J thus proving the theorem. <laughs>